I hear tomorrow or the other day you've been Kibra inciting Kenyans. And let me tell you, Honorable Mili Odhiambo, you can shout from your seat. You can shout from your seat. But the issues I'm raising are pertinent issues. And I would encourage you, Mili Odhiambo, instead of shouting from your seat, engage with your leader in ODM to know what measures, what legislative measures would you bring to this assembly to deal with the question of the food prices in Kenya and the cost of living. Because it is not enough to incite Kenyans out there. It is better to use your leadership positions to bring agendas before the House that will improve the lot. Honorable Speaker, I know, I know the Honorable Oudo is shouting relevance from his seat. Because I know, I know how it feels to lose an election. Honorable Udo, I know how it feels to lose an election and the people that led you to lose that election are now enjoying themselves. Like President Uhuru Kenyatta is enjoying himself in retirement, having misled Raila Odinga into a trap to believe there was something called a deep state and a system that never existed. But the same Uhuru Kenyatta is the one, together with his handshake brother, who got this economy to where it is. Therefore, you cannot be pretending to be crying with the Kenyans that you, whose, whose tears, you're actually dancing. <laughs> dancing on the tears of Kenyans that you led to where they are. It is the state capture that was perpetuated by the handshake brothers and the handshake government that has destroyed our economy, destroyed our country, and now you pretend that you will go and incite Kenyans in Jivanji, in Kariobangi, in Madare, incite Kenyans, but Kenyans are more intelligent than you think. Kenyans know you are attempting to incite them. Kenyans are patient, and Kenyans will be patient to give this government an opportunity to resuscitate the dying economy that you killed. And no amount of shouting will deter us. Anyway, the Honorable Speaker, I now beg to reply. I now beg to reply and encourage our colleagues to nominate our leaders emeritus.